Hi everyone, this is Rohan and in this video I'm going to discuss about roof plan of flat roofs. Okay, so a roof plan is a scale drawing of a proposed roof development. That means that this drawing has to be drawn before the roof is constructed. So therefore all the details that we are going to see in this drawing are directly going to be used while constructing the roof. Now the preferred scale of a roof plan is 1 is to 100 or I would rather say that it is the scale as the same as how you have drawn the floor plans. If that is 1 is to 100 then the roof plan also should be drawn to the same scale as 1 is to 100. Now prerequisites of drawing a roof plan that means what are the things that you should have beforehand before drawing the roof plan. First is you should have the floor plans so that you have a good idea about where the different units are if, uh, especially the kitchen, the staircase, the sanitary units all of those and secondly you should have the plumbing plan where you know where the rainwater pipes and the vent pipes are. Alright, so let's see that what all a typical roof plan of a flat roof consists of. Number one, it shows the dimensions of the roof. Secondly, it shows the thickness of the parapet wall. Third is the location and size of the headroom. As you all might know, the headroom is the space at the level of the roof above the staircase. There is a room which whose minimum height has to be 2.2 meter based on the bylaw. The location and size of that headroom has to be shown in the roof plan. Fourth, the location and size of the overhead water tank. Usually the overhead water tank is above the headroom. Uh, maybe the same size or a reduced size or it may be a different shape also. So the location and size of the overhead water tank has to be shown. Fifth is the slopes of rainwater drainage. I'll explain this when I am showing you the roof plan. Sixth is location and sizes of rainwater drainage pipes again I'll explain later and seven is the location and size of the vent pipes okay so basically when you are drawing a roof plan these are the seven things that you have to keep in mind that you have to draw so let's directly go on and try to draw a typical roof plan to a scale of 1 is to 100 and all of this we can discuss in detail here first is you draw the outline of the roof so let's say this is the outline of the roof that I am dealing with. So the first thing that we should do is give it the dimensions. Okay. Uh, be specific. Don't repeat dimensions. These overall dimensions are good enough. Right. So just to show edge to edge what the dimensions are. Secondly, since you are looking at this from the top, the thickness of the parapet wall surrounding the roof will be seen right so as you can see here now i have added the thickness of the parapet wall the thickness can be 150 mm 230 mm or 300 mm whatever the thickness of the parapet wall you are using you should provide that in the roof plan thirdly we have to uh, show the location of the headroom as you can see here if the staircase is somewhere below it so therefore I have provided the headroom here and quickly I will have to show the dimensions. These are the dimensions that I have taken. Whatever is the dimensions for you, you have to take that. Next, we have to show the overhead water tank. As I told you, now the overhead water tank here, I have taken it as a rectangular tank of dimension 3 meter by 4.5 meter, which is a little lesser than the size of the headroom, which was uh, 6 meter by 4 meter and this is a triangular one however there are various shapes and sizes uh, which are uh, uh, used so whatever is the case you have to show that all right now comes the important part here since this is a flat roof if it rains then there is a high chance of the water getting stagnated on the roof right now if the water is not drained by 48 hours that means two days then there is a chance of serious seepage problems starting from the roof therefore it is very important to drain out the water 
the rain water which is collected on the roof the way it is done is by providing a gentle slope what is done the middle portion of the roof usually especially on the longer side is raised a little just a little okay and slopes are provided slopes are provided on both sides then what happens is the water falls here right and since the slope is on this direction the water by the action of gravity goes in this direction and through a hole at the bottom of the parapet wall it goes into the rainwater pipe it goes into the rainwater pipe and then the rainwater pipe carries it to the ground level okay so i'll just repeat this action once more here as you can see in this middle line this middle line is raised up okay let's discuss uh, how much it is, it is raised up by see here it is written a slope a primary slope of 1 in 50 is provided what is 1 in 50 1 in 50 means the vertical height provided here if it is 1 meter then this distance has to be 50 meters okay or if i go in simpler terms that means you can see this distance is 9 meter right 9 meter then if i provide a slope of 1 is to 50 then the central rise will be 18 cm only 18 cm so you can imagine the horizontal distance is 9 meter and the vertical distance here is 18 18 cm 18 cm so it's a very gentle slope and that is enough to drain the water now there are various i mean the slopes of the roof are usually de uh, uh, usually decided depending on upon the amount of rainfall the area receives if the area receives a huge amount of rainfall then this uh, uh, slope has to be steeper if the area receives moderate or low rainfall then it can be lower uh, th then it can be a little less uh, lower slope and that can be one is one in 100 and up to one in 200 also okay so here since i am teaching this from a building design and drawing point of view i will not go into the detailed calculation of that i am just showing you this as an example similar on the other side also from here you have to provide a slope on this side and again connect it to a rain water pipe of 100 mm diameter now rain water pipes are also available in various sizes uh, 50 mm 65 mm 100 mm 125 mm 150 mm like this so on and so forth okay now uh, how do we choose the diameter of the rain water pipe the diameter of the rain water pipe is usually chosen depending upon how much area uh of water will it be carrying okay there is uh, there are various tables that are given there but again since i am teaching this from a bdd point of view i am not going to go into such details similarly depending upon how big the roof is you can provide various rain water pipes at various levels and automatically the slopes will also have to be shown on both sides as you can see these are the primary slopes very simple you provide a central rise and on either side you provide the slope so water either go to this side or either go to this side and through the rain water pipe it goes down to the ground level so there is no water stagnating on the roof however once you have provided the primary slope you will find that there may be certain areas where you will not find satisfactory drainage for example if i see in this direction due to the blockage of the headroom do you think the water from this will flow to this uh, rain water pipe on its own i don't think so so there may be a chance of water logging around this area so in such case what is to be done is in, in despite of having the primary slope we can provide a cross slope in maybe 1 in 100 okay so from here to here the if i provide a slope in the cross direction also so the water logging which was going to happen here is going to now come here and get drained by the rain water pipe similarly wherever you think that you know the there may be a chance of water logging 
despite of uh, having the slope but not having a proper rainwater pipe you can provide a cross slope uh, leading that part to the rainwater pipe all right so this is the water drainage okay now please understand here i think i am overdoing this a little based on the size of the building but i just wanted to show you the concept of primary slope and cross slope okay now <clears throat> the last thing that is remaining is the vent pipe now please understand wherever there is a sink or a toilet or a uh, um, what do you say water closet in those parts there are three kind of materials that you are dealing with okay three kind of waste materials two waste materials one is the liquid and the other one is the solid right now when you flush your uh, uh, water closet what happens is the liquid and the solid they go downwards by gravity and the push of the water by gravity it go downwards but what about the gas the gas is not going to go downwards it is going to go upwards right so it is necessary that wherever you have a, a sewage line or a plumbing line connected to the uh, sink or to the, your toilets or wc you have a vent pipe there all right you have a vent pipe now here let's say i have a toilet here and I, let's say i have two toilets here so my vent pipe of 50 mm dia is here and let's say i have a kitchen here so here the kitchen vent pipe is here as you can see vent pipes are usually smaller than in diameter than the uh, rainwater pipe so providing a rainwater pipe of 100 mm here i have provided a vent pipe of 50 mm so if you have a toilet here and your plumbing of toilet goes from here automatically you have to take the vent pipe up till the roof here also from the kitchen the vent pipe up till the roof so by showing all of this this completes the roof plan so i'll just remind once more uh, the first thing you show the outline of the building secondly you show the dimensions of the building of the roof i'm sorry thirdly you show the thickness of the parapet wall fourth is you show the headroom along with the dimensions next is you show the overhead water tank along with the dimensions next you show the drainage now the drainage is usually in the form of slopes there are two slopes one is the primary slope and the other one is the cross slope now please remember wherever the primary and the cross slope ends outside the parapet wall at that point you ought to have a rainwater pipe of roughly diameter 100 mm okay now this will be at various positions okay one thing that i forgot to tell you earlier but i'll mention here is that always prefer to have the rainwater pipe and the vent pipe either on the sides or the back never on the front pipes look very ugly from the front and as you know the elevation will get hampered if you provide the vent pipe and the rainwater pipes on the front side so always prefer to have them either on the sides or on the back all right so the drainage primary drainage cross drainage going on to rainwater pipe and lastly the vent pipes okay so this is what comprises of a roof plan i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts you can write down in the comments below thank you for your time